What is going on guys, Jaron Johnson Outdoors here, coming out with a video, and today we're going to go over like what rod you should use in different situations. So if you enjoyed that video, please click that thumbs up and subscribe. Alright, so first things first, we have the spin rod, and um, you see me using this rod a lot, it's my favorite rod. Um, I throw, usually I throw like Senkos and soft plastics and stick baits on this rod. Um... Also, drop shot, you would want to use this type of rod. And me personally, I like using spinner baits on a spin reel rod. Uh, just because, I don't know, I, it's easier to use and you don't have to worry about different uh, getting messes and tangles and like if you're using a bait caster. So, um, spin reel really helps if you want an easy cast for lighter lures or if you're fishing for trout. And you don't like those little inline spinners work perfect with a spin reel and rod. I usually well so difference rod so just like um, a spin reel rod. Uh, I go for a general just like six six medium action rod, um, all purpose rod, and you can literally use anything with a spin reel. It's just if you want a more action, you might want to use a different rod. All right, so the other rod that you might want to use is. A bait caster rod. Um, obviously, it's a little different. This one has like a little thing they can hold on, and this is harder than you to use. So if you're beginning up fishing, I wouldn't recommend using this type of rod um, just yet uh, until you get used to like casting and uh, finding different places. So to use a bait caster, or I would use a bait caster if you're using like a crankbait. Um, any type of moving bait, jigs, um, something where you're above water and you want to get more action. Also, um, I use bait casters, what their name is for bait. So catfishing, if I'm fishing for some catfish or uh, maybe some bass on like worms or something, I'd use a bait caster. Um, you'd want, I, like right now I have just like a simple bait set up. Um, I'd recommend using a bait caster when you're just leaving it out there and hoping for fish to come. And obviously, it's a easy. It's not the easiest thing to use. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. I'd try using like a button rod first. Those are like the for very very beginners, and you can still use that for all purposes and anything you want to do. You can use a button rod. And finally, the last type of rod that you would use is a fly rod. Um, fly rod you can use for bass if you want. I have this little grasshopper tied onto my fly rod right now. Um, great if you like uh, where I live, trout fishing you can use fly rods for that. Um, bluegill you can use flies for that. Topwater bass it's a lot of fun to use a fly rod. Um, fly rods are completely different style of fishing than spin fishing and casting fishing so it's a lot more uh, strategic and it's harder to use honestly um, if you like more of a challenge and not as many fish but uh, like it feels better when you have a fish on you'd want to use a fly rod and um, trout fishing in rivers people use fly rods just because um, you can imitate a lot more different types of bugs and things like that um, Next thing I want to say is I'm getting a new computer and there will not be any videos coming out from my GoPro. So I have two that I recorded, one from Alaska and one from Nebraska. And I cannot get those out to you guys. Uh, computer shut down, uh, ran out of storage, and then everything just wiped out on my computer. So I'm going to get a new one that's more for editing and um, I can start putting out better videos for you guys so if you are excited for that please click that thumbs up make sure you share with all of your friends and subscribe